The Thanksgiving travel rush is on with millions of people hitting the roads and the skies at near pre-pandemic levels. TSA expects to screen as many as 2.5 million people today. CBS 2's Sydney Maldonado is live at LaGuardia Airport. And Sydney, what can travelers expect heading to the airport? Well, Mary, as you can see behind me, a steady stream of people here at LaGuardia Airport, but nothing too chaotic, at least at this hour. Those we spoke with throughout the morning and early afternoon tell us they're following the usual tips today, such as arriving to the airport two to three hours before their flights, which is a good thing because the Port Authority is still reminding travelers they need to expect longer than usual wait times at TSA checkpoints. I haven't had any issues so far. Um, but it was pretty smooth this morning. Yeah, no lost bags, nothing. More than 6 million people are expected to travel through the tri-state area's airports and roadways throughout today until Sunday, according to the Port Authority. Here at LaGuardia Airport Wednesday morning, travelers prepared for delays but pleasantly surprised. I head to the uh, ticket counter and um, print tickets and just make sure I get to the gate fast. Today we didn't do any checked bags, so it was uh, super easy, super smooth. There was no delay, and that was our concern for weather, which is why we took the earliest flight out because a lot of flights have been getting canceled in the last couple weeks. About 55 million people in total are traveling for Thanksgiving this week, according to AAA. And although the vast majority will drive to their destinations, about 4.5 million Americans are set to fly. That's up nearly 8% from last year. Following two holiday seasons in a row marked by COVID-19 restrictions, people are ready for a normal dinner around the table. We had to arrive three hours prior to our flight. Um, it went uneventful and we're here now and I'm happy going to see my sister. LaGuardia Airport tweeting out early this morning, parking was beginning to fill up, urging folks to pre-book a space, while the MTA is urging travelers to take public transit to the airport. Those who hit the road early say traffic coming in, not too bad. All the signs said there's gridlock, so that was concerning driving here. Um, uh, but the commute actually was pretty good. I live on Long Island, and it wasn't actually that bad. It took me only about an hour or so. Well, things out on the road may have changed since then. As AAA says, the worst time to be driving is today. In fact, they said the worst hours are between 11 to 8 p.m. So if you can hold out before hitting the road, either late tonight or early tomorrow, that might be your best bet. For now, we're live at LaGuardia Airport. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you. And stay with CBS 2 and CBS News New York for continuing coverage of the busy travel day. We also have a lot more travel information on our website, including a flight tracker. That's at CBSNewYork.com.